In this lecture we are going to learn about unions. Unions allow you to store different data types in same memory location and in case of unions memory size equal to the size of largest number. For example, if you have a union where you have three character array, let's say of size 3, size 4 and size 2. So character array of 4 is the largest among this. So this union can have maximum size as 4 bytes because a character utilizes 1 byte to store and we have have four characters hence four bytes will be utilized by this union also in union when you store value at particular location then previous value which existed in other variables will become meaningless or it will get converted into some garbage value which we may not use similarly when we assign value to some other number then that value can be meaningful but other values will turn into some garbage value so let us see what is syntax for union so union is a keyword that is used and after that you specify your union name and then inside of parenthesis you have your members of the union here is one example of the union here my variable name is my union and inside of this union we have have three members so we know that integer takes two bytes float takes four bytes and because this is a character array of size 20 it will take 20 memory locations so 20 being the largest data member so size of your union will be 20 similar to structure you can declare your variable of union like this that is just before your semicolon or Alternatively, you can declare your variables like this. You will need to write keyword union after that name of your union and then your variable name. Suppose I declare a union variable as union underscore var, then we can access union members like this union underscore var dot i equal to 10, which is similar to accessing stuck members. Now, suppose this to be two consecutive statements in your program, then once you write this statement, the value will be stored into same memory location. But as soon as you write this statement, so value of i will become something else so this is a slight disadvantage of using union that it can change other values indirectly but there is an advantage also that when we use struct and if the struct has large number of members and if you are going to use very significant amount of members at a given instance in that case large number of memory location will be completely unutilized so comparing to that union can be very less expensive operations in terms of saving memory